everybody, Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to give tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy and sustainable living. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how you can make sourdough waffles in a cast iron waffle maker. So I have this cast iron waffle maker that I found next to many other things in my grandparents' attic. I have no idea how old this is. My grandparents have since passed away, but I love using old items because they have so much character and um, just imagining what this has been through and where it's been. It's actually from Germany, so it's made a long trip over here to the US. and will make waffles in this. Let me show you how I do that. So first I'll put the waffle iron onto my stove. And with cast iron, you always want to heat the cast iron first, then heat the oil, and then add your ingredients. So I'm gonna heat that while I show you how I make the batter. So I made the batter earlier. Um, in here I have about a cup of fed runny sourdough starter. I added about half a cup of buttermilk to it and I did that earlier because I wanted everything to ferment a little bit. And I added about a three quarter cup of flour. Now this recipe is um, just for two servings. If you have a larger family, you might wanna double or triple your recipe. And also, sometimes it's hard for me to give you exact measurements because I like to cook by feel. And um, I just know what kind of consistency I want, especially for something like this. So I'm just giving you um, approximate measurements. To that, I will add one egg and about a tablespoon of melted butter. So as you can see here, I have a pretty runny batter because I um, don't really think I need a lot of sugar. We tend to not eat a lot of sugar in our house and it's um, something that you can get used to and we haven't been eating a lot of sugar, so everything that has a lot of sugar in it is often way too sweet for our taste. So um, if you wanna add some sugar now, you can add about a tablespoon or so of sugar, and you can also just add some maple syrup or some fruit syrup later to your waffle. My waffle iron is heating up. I'm gonna turn it to the other side. So that both sides are heating this will probably take a while so we'll just let that sit there in the meantime our um, sourdough batter is going to sit here as well. things are getting a little bit smoky over here so we'll try out a first waffle i um, need to actually and i like to use avocado oil for that so i'm going to pour a little bit in here and move that around with a brush so that it's evenly coated. I don't like to use nonstick spray. And then we'll do the other side. This one has a deeper well, so I'm gonna just keep that on the bottom. Hope that everything is coat it really nicely. Put that back on the heat one more time just to make sure that it's nice and hot. And I'll put the batter in there. Get that a little bit more. Move it around. Put the lid on. You can see how the batter is rising. It's only got sourdough in it. No baking soda, no baking powder. It's beautiful. Give 
give this a quick tug so um, the lid doesn't want to come off readily so I'm just going to let that sit a little bit more. Always testing it one more time. I think at this point I'm going to turn this to the other side. The key with this really is to let it sit for a while because when the waffle is done, it will just easily separate from the waffle maker. And here you go. There's no clinging, no caking, nothing. And this one, um, I didn't put enough batter in there, so that's why it's half one. So here are your beautiful waffles, sourdough waffles made in a cast iron waffle maker. That is an antique from my grandparents that I inherited. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. You can also hop on over to my blog at OurGabledHome.com where I have more recipes and tips for natural living. I hope I see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. It got pretty smoky in my kitchen, but that's what you get from doing homemade recipes on your own. <laughs>